This is one of the most common situations in the street. And this is three ways to defend the shirt grab. And as always, if you stick to the end, I'll give you a nice bonus. Adam's a randomer. He grabs my shirt. We could go 50-50. But realistically, I can punch Adam and Adam can punch me. I don't want to make this a 50-50 battle within the street. You never know what could happen. I want to try and make this as safe as possible for myself. First one I'm going to do, instead of grabbing his shirt, I'm going to grab the back of his head. I pull him in. My outside hand goes on the inside to his bicep. I flare my elbow up. I step my leg out and pull down on his head. My hand goes from the outside to the inside. I frame with my hands and push off my legs to get back. As they attack in, boom, straight down the pipe. He grabs my shirt. I take the back of his head. I bring my hands on the inside. I flare out and I step my leg to pull his head down. My hand goes on the inside from there. I start framing my arms and getting back. As Adam pressures into me, I can then punch him straight down the middle. Option number two, we're walking about. He gets me by the shirt. Like I said, I don't want to grab his shirt because it's 50-50. If I can grab his head, I can control his posture a lot more. As soon as Adam grabs the shirt, I grab his head straight away. See how I'm doing that with intent? I'm not being a fairy about it. I'm not stroking him like a fairy. I'm pulling him in with intent. My hand goes on his wrist. My elbow goes over the top to strike. He grabs. I get his head. I block. I go over the top. As I elbow over the top, I can pull his head in. Bang! And if he didn't let go of the grip, I would just carry on elbowing him over and over again until he did let go. Watch my stance now. Adam goes to grab. I don't want to stay square. I get one foot in front of the other when I go to grab his head. I block my elbow, my elbow. Sorry, mate. <laughs> that probably hurt his arm. And if he's got any sense, he will let go of this grip here. And if you feel like you're a little bit in danger on this side from strikes, literally put your shoulder up to your chin. If you did go to strike, you've covered your chin now. And you've got a clean gap to land this on his jaw. Boom, that should knock him out. This one is in anticipation. We don't really want to let anyone grab our shirt. Because if they have a really strong grip, sometimes it can be quite hard to escape this move, even if we know the other two. If we see anyone raise their hand towards us, we need to be ready. I'm not gonna allow Adam to grab my shirt. As he does, I'm gonna hit him with my palm. I'm gonna push into his chest. I need to make sure I'm in a stance. As Adam goes to grab me, I'm palming in his chest. As soon as Adam steps in with some sort of intent, I let just palm out like so. But if I wanted to actually punch them, as he steps in, I just jab him straight to the face. We do it in anticipation. If they already have my shirt, this is where I could do the other moves, where I can step in, get my angle, punch, or boom, I can elbow from there. The choice is yours. As promised, the bonus. Now I'm gonna give you 99 ways in 99 days to improve your confidence in situations that may happen in the street. It could be shirt grabbing, it could be personal space, it could be how to throw a punch, it could be your mindset about the whole situation of being in a fight. But if you click that link below, you can sign up, put your email address in and I will send you an email every single day with little nuggets of clarity that will take no more than two minutes to read and will help improve your confidence. I will see you in the next one. Bish, bash, bosh, pow!